Hey folks, AJ the CEO here and in this video we're going to show you how to use a plugin in OBS to stream to multiple platforms for free. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, just first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member. Links are below. So I've had a ton of people ask me about this and I just never really got around to it. So my apologies, but today is the day. We are gonna be checking out the multiple RTMP output plugin that you can add to OBS so that you can go to multiple platforms at the same time and bypassing the need for Restream, Caster, and other services like that. Now, I know in a previous video when I talked about version 26, I showed how you can use this using the built-in virtual camera, um, but this is a plugin, and again, I'm doing this because a lot of people have asked me about it. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. All right, I'm here on the OBS site and a link is in the description for this. This again is the multiple RTMP outputs plugin. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm on my church's computer live streaming system. So we're gonna have this installed. Let's go to our downloads and obviously make sure OBS is closed. And actually before I even go into this, make sure whatever, before you do this, you need to make sure since everything is gonna be coming from this one system, you need to make sure that whatever your settings are, your upload speed can handle it. If you're live streaming at, you know, five, six megabits or 6,000 6, kilobits per second, you're gonna be duplicating the stream. So you really need to be able to have that same upload speed two times for this. So if you were doing six megabits or whatever like that, your upload speed should be 12 or 15, honestly, preferably to have it higher. So whatever your settings are, you need to have double that of upload speed to do this compared to going to Restream or something like that. They are handling that and you only need one upload stream for that. So let's go ahead and download this. It looks like this was updated five days ago. So that's cool. And Looks like this is the old fashioned way. We got to drop this into our folders here. So let me minimize this and let's extract this to our desktop, both of these folders. And we need to find the placement of these files. So we're going to go to our program files, x86. And there's our two folders here, so data, data. Plugins, plugins. Let's go ahead and move that here. All right. Now let's back all the way out here. We don't need this one. Let's open up our other plugins folder here. Plugins. 32 bit, 32 bit. Let's copy this over here. We'll move it over here. Back up a folder. Let's do the same. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's do the same thing for the 64. All right. Boom. That's it. All right. Now let's open up OBS now. All right. So let me maximize this because we have our little plug-in window. over here all righty so this is free of charge so we're going to add our output here add a target we're going to put in our platform of choice so let's say youtube and i'm gonna blur this out obviously so you don't see this information let me go to our youtube page and get a stream key I'm just going to set this up because everything is going to start going through YouTube events anyway. Um, go to stream. 
get my appropriate key. Let me get my default one here. So let's copy our stream URL. That's for the server. Now let's copy our key, which again, I will have blurred. All right. And here's your encoder settings. So if you want to get this from OBS, it will just copy the same thing. So I think that's cool. And you can set your, um, I mean, mine is gonna be using my GPU. That's the safest bet for me. And I'm fine with that. So we okay. And boom, there we go. All right, so not to throw anybody off, I went ahead and just set my background to a, well, my scene to more of a testing type of thing here. So it won't catch nobody off guard, as well as I made sure that all the links going to our Facebook page and everything like that are turned off. So we are going to be streaming to Vimeo and YouTube. And YouTube isn't going to be that big of a deal because I can actually just sit, change that if need be. So let's go ahead and start streaming traditionally. All right. So and if I do this right now, as you can see, our output we're at 4,000 kilobits per second. That's the same thing that's gonna be used for this. Now let's go ahead and start here. And now we're streaming to both. All right. And let's go ahead and check out YouTube and just see what we see. And there's our stream and we're live. And for me, as you can see, we're not doing anything more than 14% because again, we're leaning on our GPU for this, but again, we're not taxing the system out in any way, shape or form. Yeah, CPU, I mean, GPU is around like 41%, so cool. So again, that's pretty much it. Make sure that you have to start traditionally with the stream. Um, here and actually let me bring them up side by side because we should be on our website as well too all right so there's that and then all right so there we go boom at the same time so for those who asked me to check out this plugin there you go link will be in the description and there's another way that you can stream to multiple platforms using obs without having to pay for a rebroadcasting service so if you like this type of content i appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry and i want to thank the patrons and members for making this video possible their names are on the screen right now and again you can also support us by clicking the link below whether it be youtube membership the join button or join us on patreon link below thanks for watching folks this is aj we'll see you on the next video later